Here at Coach and Bus Live 2013, we're surrounded by state-of-the-art, modern, futuristic technology. We've got hybrid vehicles, we've got electric vehicles, really is the future here. But looking back, this is where it all began, or pretty much where it all began. This lovely vehicle is an OB Bedford bus, first designed in 1939, thereabouts, just before the war. Production had to cease because, obviously, of hostilities. Then it was resumed. 11,000 of these were built right up to 1951. Bodied by Dupal, this was the backbone of the coach and tourist industry in the pre and immediate post-war years. It's powered by a straight six, three and a half litre petrol engine, which something like that found its way into the Vauxhall Cresta in later years. So. Not state of the art, but it really was a lovely thing. And this is what every family would go to the seaside in on their weekends off. I'm down here at the rear near side wheel and this really fascinated me because I've had first hand experience. I know I don't look old enough, but literally when somebody went away on this for the weekend, the coach would be full, maybe going to the seaside. Every seat has a number and the operator or the organizer would put all the seat numbers around the tire with a mark at the top of the wheel arch and everybody in the coach would contribute maybe sixpence or possibly even a shilling into a central kitty and when the coach arrived at its final destination the seat number nearest the mark on the wheel arch scooped the kitty and I did once and I got two quid spent it all day at the fun fair. Sitting here looking around me this just transports me right back there's the most fabulous smell of wood varnish and fabric 29 seats Every seat has a handrail, there's the luggage rack above my head, these lovely side lights, interior lighting, all controlled of course by the driver. In the bulkhead over the driver is a big clock and I remember staring at that clock on the journey. It's just the most fascinating way and it was such a magical experience to jump on this at seven in the morning, head off to the seaside and come back exhausted but happy with lots of memories.